All right, guys, Kettleboy32 here. Check it out. We're sitting on the review table, and in front of us, I've got a little rifle set up that a friend of mine had, and he wanted to do a little update on his optic that was on this. Now, uh, originally, this thing had this deal right here. This is the Monstrum 3 Power Prism Scope. Not a bad scope if that's what you're into. Uh, this just has a set of crosshairs, and we did a review on this thing a long, long time ago long time ago. As a matter of fact, uh, I put this handguard on him a while back, and this is a Palmetto State Armory upper with a uh, the Freedom Barrel, yeah, 1 and 8 twist, 5.56 five, NATO Freedom Barrel. <laughs> really good little system. As you can tell, he really does keep it clean. But he asked me, he goes, what do you think uh, would be a decent little red dot to put on there without spinning or breaking the bank. And, you know, here's one of those things. This guy's, he doesn't go out shooting a lot. He, he's uh, uh, middle range, decent shooter, but he doesn't want to put a lot of money into a, a red dot. Now, I've always had pretty good luck with the sight mark guys over there, and I like their M-Spec. As a matter of fact, one of the first red dots that I ever bought was the M-Spec. And uh, it's still, actually, no. I gave that to my brother, and he's dead now. So anyway, I, I suggested, let's go with this guy right here. This is the Sightmark Ultrashot R Spec Series. Now, before everybody starts freaking out, uh, yeah, just made in China. Uh, and unfortunately, that's just the, the name of the game with these ex inexpensive um, red dots. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link down below because this thing is 100 bucks. Let's take a look at it and what's in the box. This week is optics week because I've probably got about 20 optics that I need to actually do reviews on. So what do we got here? Uh, it's one power. Let's see. It's in a, we got a CR123 battery. Uh, ejective aperture is 33 by 24. You're going to get 200 to 2,000 hours of life. I don't think this has an automatic shutdown. Uh, maximum caliber 50 BMG. It's aluminum 6061 T6 aluminum matte black. Uh, weight is 10.7 ounces. Got <laughs> Let's see. Here we go. Designed in Texas. Oh yeah. Let's bring the camera in. Okay, so in the box you got this little neoprene deal. You got the wrench to go ahead and adjust the QD attachment point. That's one of the things I do like about it. Uh, comes in a little neoprene bag and you have your instruction manual right here. Pretty neat. I've always been a big fan of these guys. Uh, they make good optics, man. It's uh, just one of those things. So let's go ahead and open it up, see what this bad boy looks like. Hopefully there's a battery installed already because I don't have a one, two, three. Yeah, actually I do have a bunch of one, two, three batteries. You got the little gel pack and a buddy of mine said, I'll just feed those to my dogs. And uh, one of the guys said, you need to put that in your uh, gun safe. And I said, actually my gun safe, I know, but my gun safe is, uh, in a conditioned space. Uh, let's see. Really nice. The finish is pretty cool. Um, back here, this is just like one of those other optics. You have the change up on the reticle. You can go from a circle dot, crosshairs, a dot, circle dot with the uh, crosshair lines on it. Elevation changes are made right here and here. That's the beauty of this thing. And yes, there is a battery in it. Let's go ahead and open this compartment. I would suggest getting rid of this guy right here as soon as you possibly can because uh, in my last one that I had, uh, the first M-Spec, it kept going on and off and it's simply because the battery was junk. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Hopefully that's the right direction. In my opinion, the Sightmark guys give you the closest to what I would consider to be the to an ACOG, or not an ACOG, but an EOTech kind of a thing. Let's go ahead and turn it on. There is the on button. Now, as far as reflex sights are concerned, this thing offers the, the best clarity of all. You got, looks like it goes all the way down to uh, night vision capabilities there does almost disappears. We got on and off button. There's green, there's red, and hold it down to turn it off. Very simple operations, very intuitive. Let's see if I can go ahead and put this up here so you guys can see it. Okay, the green reticle is in there. You know what? Turn the lights off, hold on. Boom, there we go. 
go ahead and turn that up as high as we can. There. There's the green reticle. We can go different levels of functionality. $99. Dude, I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, and then you switch it up to red. Oh, there we go. Let's go back to high. There we go. Now, on the rear slider right here, we can change the reticle. That's just to a dot. Now, I don't know how well it maintains a zero. There is a cross reticles. He's going to like this. I'll pick this out. What the hell? Come on. There we go. Cross reticle. And circle dot. And there's a circle, just a circle, with the... Uh, one, it looks to be like a one or two MOA dot. Not sure, but I'm not really worried about that. Let's go ahead and change it to green. There it goes to green. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, bring the lights back on. Boom. All right. Um, yeah, the R spec. Not a bad little deal. To tighten this thing up, you're just going to put the wrench right there. It does have a QD attachment point there. Let's go ahead and put it on the firearm. There you go. That's what it looks like. Just like that. Very nice. And we can do a co-witness with the rear and back up iron sights. You can see how far those things are off. But anyway, guys, that's it. All right, guys, well, that's it, man. This thing is absolutely awesome. I like it. hundred bucks, man. And you're getting... What appears to be something that is in pretty good, uh, what do you call it, shape to withstand some really cool stuff. Daylight bright. Not a problem there. All right. With that being said, uh, we always hit them like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. Talk about the men and women in uniform who are going to be there to, uh, you know, protect us from the government when they try to overreach their boundaries and overstep in the Constitution of the Bill of Rights. Go to Boy32. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. One MOA per click. Yeah. There you go.